Celtics Game Highlight is presented by T-Mobile. Tatum. Randall there. Tatum a step back three and he nailed it. Randall again got bounced. Smart the loose ball. Ahead to Horford. Now Brown. Two. Richardson fighting in the post, not conceding anything. Give me that. Next, another defensive play by Josh Richardson. Shoot it. In the paint, has to give it up. Richardson for three. Brown. Off the bounce, throws it to Williams for two. Way to identify. Way to identify. Two guys coming to Jalen Brown. Right there with the air ball, Tatum ahead of the field. Randall, no, Tatum, yes. Now they give it to Randall, takes it right to the basket, rejected inside by Williams. Gives it to Randall. Smart to defend, and he just takes it away. Boston ball. Man, he is, he is just absolutely special defensively. He is. I mean, look at him. That's a fourth steal of the game for Smart. How about that? Half court. An alley oop in the half court set from half court. Give me a break. Brown. Oh, it down. Jason Tatum. Enjoying the moment. Passing the ball, multiple touches each possession. That's what the coaching staff wants. Brown takes it quick and buries the three. 85-65, a 20-point game. Barrett off the catch. Nope. Is that the rebound for the triple-double? It was. There we go, 19, 10, and 11. Congratulations on the triple-double. T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. That's what I'm talking about. Celtics get a huge win over the New York Knicks, 99-75 the final. Welcome in here to Celtics Post Game Live, presented by your New England Ford dealers. I'm Abby Chin. He is Big Perk. And Perk, this is exactly what you were calling for pregame. The Celtics bounced back in a big way. Jalen Brown got hit the first triple-double of his career. And the Celtics held the Knicks to 75 points. So much to like in this one. Absolutely. They were getting back and sprinting back in transition like I'd never seen before. And on top of that, Jalen Brown, he showed us something tonight. He showed us that how he's capable of actually taking over the game and having a complete game. Uh, look, look, Abby, it wasn't just a, 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 a normal triple-double. It was a triple-double we was stat padding. It came with actually good intentions, and it was a meaningful triple-double. That was the most impressive to him. Like, he just dominated in all fashion. But the Celtics overall, the way that they were protecting the basket, taking charges, helping the helper, it was a beautiful thing to watch. I said 100 points. Hell, they didn't let them score 80 points. <laughs> The defense is what stood out, but I want to continue to talk about JB and those 11 assists. That is a career high for him, and he almost hit that in the first half, Perk, and he was making defenses pay for everything. I mean, the way that he made the people, his teammates around him better tonight is what stood out to me. Absolutely, and you know what? He didn't wait, and that's how he's been approaching a lot of games over the last two weeks. He's not waiting on anybody. He's coming out. He's coming out like he's the best player on the floor. He came out tonight with the intentions that I'm going to get this win by all means necessary, and he did it in every form and fashion: the cutting, the moving without the ball, the 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 driving kicks, finishing at the basket, the lobs to Rob Williams, everything. And and, and he was so aggressive, so aggressive, finding guys in transition. Jalen Brown, man, he just. You know, he just continues to impress me every single game. And you juxtapose that to the 50 points, 10 boards against the Orlando Magic. Perk, he had zero assists in this one. And, and you know it's something. It's been a focus for him all season long to not turn the ball over, but to get those assists and make plays for others. And he accomplished that tonight. 22 points, 11 boards, and like I said, that career high, 11 assists. It is his first career triple-double. Scal caught off with Jalen after the game. He had some choice words. So uh, we are going to bring that to you a little later. But right now, we welcome in Scal. 
And Scal, we're talking about this great game from Jalen tonight. Very complete. I, um, the fact that he played with so much force trying to get downhill, but yet he didn't force anything at the basket. And, and I just thought he was seeing the floor really well. And when Jalen Brown is passing, and, and not just him, I, in general, today the Celtics, the ball movement, the player movement, the you know, the drive to the paint multiple times, they become very difficult to guard when they do that. Scal, there were a lot of fun plays in this one. I think the one that stood out, we saw it off the top of the show. It's going to be our drain of the game. Jalen and Jason screening for each other and getting JB that wide open three. I mean, is that something that we can look forward to seeing more of? So when, when teams, the one thing that we, we have to mention about playing together like teams aren't going to leave Jason Tatum wide open he's too good of a player so but the thing is when you attack multiple times the defenses are going to break down if they don't want to leave those guys or eventually they'll get open so I just thought the the right mindset of attacking multiple times and you know any guy in the NBA is talented enough to pull up and take a shot anytime they want that's just the NBA but you know if there's this little bit of a sacrifice when you drive and you you know draw one and a half draw two guys and all of a and at that point, you know, make that extra pass or you have a decent shot, but you kick it over to the corner. When they play like that, I think we'll start seeing a lot more assists between, you know, Jason and Jalen or, or even the two-man game between those guys as well. I know Perk wants to get a word in, but Scal, I have one more for you. You mentioned it right there, the ball movement, particularly in that third quarter when the Celtics took over in this game. That third quarter, eight assists on 11 field goals, but overall tonight, the ball was popping. Yeah, the Knicks, like, they're a team that overhelps, and I just thought that these guys had the right intent from the from the beginning. You know, the, that's not – you can overpass and not have an aggressive mindset, or you could stand on the three and just pass it and not get downhill. But today, it was just an appropriate amount of balance of look, looking to be aggressive because that's what you have to do in the NBA. But when the, when the lane shut down or the defense made an adjustment, I thought they did a good job of finding the open man. And, it's, and you, you remember, uh, you know, Brad Stevens used to talk about it's all about hitting singles and that today I thought we saw a lot of singles that that led up to you know a great third quarter no I agree and you, you know was, you know what else was impressive you know you could make the right passes but guys were actually making the right cuts and the right reads mm -hmm. like we saw a couple couple plays in that in, the, in those highlights where Jay LeBron actually was setting the screen and diving to the basket Jalen Brown was actually circling to the to the dots to get a little flow. Like when you start doing those little things and mixing it up, and, and that's is growth. One thing, but you know, it's just almost like okay, we see it. Let's see it more consistently. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Down. I'm saying like the Celtics show us time and time again that they are capable of doing these things. I want to see them do it all the time because. When they play basketball, it's like this is like, man, this team is really good. Really, really good. And it's just all about being consistent. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Scal. Yeah, and just one thing to add to that. Like, if you're talking about beating the best teams, the way we saw them play, it's a non-negotiable. It's not like you can't win any other way. If you're playing the best teams, if you're trying to win in the playoffs, if you're trying to be special, that's the only one way to play. That's what we saw today is the only way to go. If you don't, then you can just cross off the list of doing anything special this season. So this is – it's not like, wait, yay, they did it today. Like, this has to be the, the baseline. And then you have – unreal performances from there. You have unreal shot making from there. But what they did is the baseline of how you have to start. And I will point out the baseline also is that you want to be healthy so that you can have that baseline. The Celtics have been that, had their core four once again tonight.